God Woken, you return. Put the amulet on and charge it up by consuming source. Once it's got five charges in it, it'll be ready to go. I'm wasted in this place. Any fool can throw together a bloody stew. Nice job, Paladin. The Grand Master's chamber must be protected. Bring the amulet and the scroll to the path of blood. By the statue of Lucian, there is a hidden mechanism. Set the fully charged amulet in the hidden receptacle, then read from the scroll. Many obstacles lie between the path of blood and the resting place of the divine. I can only help with one, the death room. It is a room of many levers. Five will lead you closer to your goal. The rest will lead you to your death. Each lever is named for a virtue of the divine. Find the levers whose initials spell the word power. Select these five and these alone. My dear, we all have questions. Sometimes we may even get answers. In my time, I've worn many hats. Many of them pointed. I've been a scholar, an engineer of sorts, a protector of towns and villages, a thief, a lover. For one particularly memorable period of time, I was a cat. <sighs> Those were the days. But through it all, I've been what you might know as a wizard. All these long years I have worked to maintain balance in the world. Lately, that has seen me at the service of Lucian. But this is just one way to tell my tale. There are many versions of Ahu through the ages. My body, or bodies as it happens, age. But my spirit does not decay. Shall I go on? It may sound stupid, given the world in which we find ourselves, but I strive for balance and a realm in which all creatures can feel safe and free of terror. Hence my alliance with Lucian. I have lowered my aspirations somewhat in recent centuries, I admit. Now I'd settle for the world staying out of the void. Amazing how your priorities change over time. 
I knew Lucian would defend Rivalon from Oblivion. I thought he would be equal to the task and easily succeed. It seems I may have been wrong. across the floor. Pledge my soul, O Lucian, I pledge please return. My Pledge my heart, O oh, Lucian, please return. You are completely ignored. The prayer continues as if you weren't even there. I am pure. I pledge my heart, O oh, Lucian. You are completely ignored. I pledge my life, I pledge my life O Lucian. Please return. You are complete. Please I return. pledge my soul, O Lucian. Please return. You are completely ignored. I pledge my life, O Lucian. Please return. You are complete. Greetings. Have you come to join us in the endless prayer? Or do you wish to walk the path of blood? 
Lucian's day wouldn't be the same without the faithful gathering to petition for his return. The more voices that join our cry, the better. The signs suggest that if we pray hard enough, Lucian will return to save us. Every year, we gather to offer our prayers in his name. We stand united, hoping that he will favor us once more. Ah, the path of blood is a, uh, more advanced form of pilgrimage. I would not advise it unless you believe yourself to be free from sin. And trust me, none are free from sin. The path of blood ends in death for those who attempt it. Consider yourself warned. It was Lord Ahu's creation. He is the crypt's keeper, of course, and oversaw the construction himself. He couldn't have done it without the help of Sanders, though. Quite a talent for engineering, that one. Spends most of his time tinkering with toys nowadays. Such a pity. But that's the price you pay for genius, I suppose. I pledge my heart. Oh, my love. What have they done? I do worry about her. I hope she's safe. I hope they're treating her well. Eyes closed, the paladin silently prays. Oh, may Lucian return. Will you join me in prayer? Oh, Lucian, please return. I pledge my heart. I pledge my heart. You are completely ignored. The prayer continues as if you weren't even there. Please. I pledge my soul, Lord. You are complete. I pledge my soul, Lord. You are complete. I pledge my life. You are complete. I pledge my soul, Lord. You are complete. Oh, Lucian, please return. I pledge my heart, oh, Lucian. Please return. I am pure. Hey, me first! Take my blood. Tell me I am pure. Something closed the door. The bewildered ghost stares at her own dead corpse. A single thought emanates from her spirit. But I was pure. The warmth of your good wishes envelops her. She realizes the truth. All is well that can be well. Nothing else matters now. She may leave for the Hall of Echoes. I've led a pious life ever since. Am I really to be judged for all time because of this one indiscretion? I pledge my life, oh, Lucy. Please, my life. Oh, Lucy. Please, Lucy. Please, return. Please return. return. I pledge my soul. I pledge oh, my heart. Please return. Oh, Lucian. Please return. Oh, Lucian, please return. I pledge my soul.
I don't understand. I was sure I'd make it. What did I do wrong? Did I commit some sin without knowing? Did I sin by thinking I was pure? Blessed Divine, enlighten me! There, a switch. There, a switch. This, I'd say we're close to Lucian's bot. One little silver spoon, that's all I took from them. A family like that wouldn't even miss it. I didn't deserve to die because of it. How did this happen? I gave away a small fortune to the cathedral and the school that... And the poor on the streets. I paid what was owed. I should be cleansed of my sins. All those poor dead elves have haunted my dreams ever since the war. I thought I'd be forgiven. I thought I'd suffered enough. I was wrong. There. There's a curious looking panel discreetly nestled upon the wall. Upon it is a lone button. There's a slot in the center of the button. It looks like something should be placed in it. The amulet fits the slot perfectly. The mechanisms around it begin to glow with source. The button slowly sinks into the wall, as if pushed by an invisible hand. The source fades from the amulet, consumed by the inner mechanisms of the button. Gears turn behind the ancient walls, almost like they're acknowledging the words you spoke. A nearby hatch in the floor unseals itself.
the statue reaches toward the sky, as though preparing to take flight. The bottom drops out from within you. She lifts you up, up, up. Too heavy. Too heavy. No sign of Lucian's body. Has Dallas beaten us here? The blessed altar seems to want to be touched. In the space beyond the altar, the pipework shifts. In the space beyond the altar, the altar seems to respond. Beyond it, something creaks, as if the pipework was moving. The sound comes from beyond the altar, but also echoes and gurgles behind.
a blessed stone altar. The cool stone in the pit beyond, things move once more, as if returning to their original position. Then the mechanism rests. Behind you, the sound echoes away. Peering through the iron grating, you can see how it connects to the strange pipework beneath. Peering through the iron grating, a blessed stone altar. The cool stone seems to beg to be tucked in the space beyond.
The altar seems to respond. Venture no farther, only death lies beyond. Blood need not be spilled, bones need not be broken. Preserve thyself and flee. To cross this threshold is to plunge into thy grave. Do not decide in haste. Remember this moment when you escaped death. Remember and never return. So, here we are again. Don't worry, Chief. I'm on high alert. What's on your mind, darling? A foolish choice to return. Beyond this point, death awaits. Blood need not be spilled to cross this very well. Embrace thy fate. Oh, brutal, May. Charming. Careful now. That's a trap. Moving to Noctis atmosphere in England. Noctis atmosphere in
you out of here. Manipulate. There's got to be a way to make them stop. to corporeal transposition engine. What the hell's just happened? Ah, oh, pulling a lever invites magical translocation. Moving to hazardous concoction generator. Hazardous concoction vessel generated. more could there be? Weaver did something. I can feel it. Careful now. I 
us a trap. Your disruptor. There's no end to them. Another one. How many more could there be? It feels like that lever did something.
according to noxious atmosphere in April. Moving to rapid descent cranial disruptor. Moving to corporeal transposition engine. Corporeal transposition. Moving to corporeal transposition engine. Ah, pulling a lever invites magical translocation. Moving to Argus manipulator. more could there be? Be getting closer to Lucian's crypt. The truth hangs heavy upon the air itself, unspoken. This is the point of no return. Somewhere beyond this point, you shall be undone, or you shall ascend. There is no middle ground. The truth hangs heavy upon the air. Interesting. Quackus, what do you make of this? My goodness. Here we are, Quackus. This is it. What do you mean, Quackus? Of course I'm prepared. 
I have my noble steed below me, and my trusted shield beside me. What more could I need? His whiskers crack into a mischievous smile. And I may have cracked the spell that will stop the great acorn in its furious tracks, if that's what you mean. That's right, Quirkus. We've done it! Sir Laura turns to you, his beady eyes shining with pride. I owe you an apology, S.H.I.E.L.D. At the start of our journey, I wouldn't have believed a lizard would lead me to the discovery that would save us all. But I see now that my prejudice was foolish. Without you, Quercus and I might still be stuck on that abominable prison island. Now, here I am. Here we are, on the brink of saving the world. Indeed, Quirkus and I will find an advantageous location and do just that. Meanwhile, you must prevent the servants of the Acorn from interrupting us. Solora takes a slow, deep breath and lets it out in a rush. You feel it, don't you? It's so still, but there's something behind it too, like a thunderclap waiting to fall. The great acorn is nearly here. Its servants are poised for impact. We've known this moment would come. Now it is time to put my research to the test. I am ready. Quercus is ready. And you, S.H.I.E.L.D.? Sir Laura nods in return and grabs your pinky with his tiny paw. He gives it a decisive shake. Then salutes. No matter what happens next, Shield, there's something Quercus and I want you to know. It has been an honor. Now, onward! You come here often. I don't know what you did, but you just released a source blood. I thought I'd come and see what all the fuss was about. Should have known you were getting yourself into trouble. Looks like the big moment has finally arrived. I will do everything I can to support you, Godwoken. I will pray for you. I think you'll need it. Don't underestimate the power of true prayer. This is a place of incredible power where a single prayer holds the weight of thousands. Your heart and soul will fill as quickly as they're drained. Consider it a taste of your divine future. The people will pray for you. In turn, they'll trust you to do right by them, as I'm trusting you to do now. Of course, it's up to you whether or not to listen. I know how I'd respond, but you do you. Malady wearily chuckles to herself, then bows her head in a show of unexpected but sincere reverence. Looks like my investments paid off after all. I need worship, only one divine, and I believe he stands before me now. You've shown me kindness in the face of my sins. My worship is the least I can offer. I've always preferred to be the one reaping the attention, but you've turned the tables. I suppose it's only right, seeing as how a new divinity may stand before me. Now go. Rivalon needs a new divine. Prince, 
God Woken. Dallas told me about you. You must be as hard as diamonds and twice as bright to have come so far. Your divine welcomes you. The divine you thought dead lords over the chamber from a granite throne. He moves to speak, but it's Reedman's voice that next pierces the air. What a twist. Lucian frowns at Vriedemann, then bestows a benevolent smile upon you. All that you know of him flashes across the panorama of your mind. I underestimated you, Godwoken. You have proven to be a formidable foe. You have my respect. Respect? Indeed. Lucian's gaze rests upon you and goes through you. He takes your measure entirely. Lucian, we should tell him the truth. Yes, I agree. It is time we dropped our masks. Dallas nods, then reaches for the sides of her head. Where there was one face, suddenly there are four. She takes off the mask of the shapeshifter. A skull is revealed. Bejeweled and ancient as the void. I am eternal. Aren't they just full of surprises? Fear not, good woman. Dallas is on the side of all that is good. She is helping me rid Rivalon of the influence of the Source. Listen to her. I shall tell you the tale as I told it to Lucian. Long ago, the Scholar Fane discovered that the veil between the world and the Void was made of Source. Our seven lords desired this power. Of course. Silence, slave. Our king forbade the Seven to reach for this power, but they didn't listen. Instead, they rebelled and sent the king and his people into the void. With the source they stole from the Veil, the Seven created the races so they would have worshippers. During their lives, worshippers collect source. When they die, the gods feed from them. It's an ingenious system. Our souls are nothing but vats for the source-hungry gods. The Seven made a mistake. By taking its source, they tore a hole in the veil, and it is through this hole that the Void finds its way into our world. The Seven's lust for power let in the Void. Our goal is to close the hole they created, to restore the source to the veil. When we are done, there shall be no more source in the world. Rivalon will be finally free from the gods that enslave them. My people cannot be allowed to return from the Void. They are tarnished. They are Void-woken. They can only bring chaos and death and... There is more, but she hesitates to share it. Then she decides that she must. I was a child when the God King tore my family apart. I was purged of source and left to rot in a putrid tomb. A child. It was hell. A hell I suffered for the sins of my father. He was the one that betrayed the God King. He was the one that told the Seven the secrets of the Vale. 
The cruel joke of it all is that the same tomb that housed my tortured body is what sheltered me from the void. Few Eternals escaped that fate. Myself, my mother, and my father, the scholar Fane. But now I finally have revenge. Revenge on the Seven and the God King. Revenge for what they took from me! My life! My people! My mother! The Hammer's voice falters and her coolness vanishes. Every crack and rasp betrays her grief. But her next words burn not with sadness, but anger. He never even looked for me. He never even looked for her! Dallas, control yourself. Our purpose transcends your personal wounds. Yes. You... You are right. Dallas's reasons weren't mine to question. All that ever mattered to me was peace. Peace for Rivalon. Peace for me, whatever the means. And now... We are on the precipice. She sacrificed herself for the betterment of Rivalon. She didn't do it willingly, mind you. Curiosity led her to the tomb. My hunger for source took care of the rest. I presume her bones remained there. And then I took her place. Face rippers are such marvels, aren't they? It didn't take long to realize that Lucian was the key to my vengeance, and I was the key to the salvation of Rivalon. While Dallas sought the Aetiran, I started draining the gods of their source. Slurp, slurp, slurp. One more word from you, and I shall use the leash. I had to hide from the gods. So I had the walls of this crypt equipped with tenebrium and protections put in place. It worked. Everyone, even the gods, thought me dead. As divine, I was created, empowered to stop the void. I was the avatar of the Seven, their strength and their weakness. My bond to them allowed me to drain them of their source. Yes, in a sense. When the Death Fog was unleashed, many elves died. With fewer elves to worship him, Tia Sindilius weakened. This gave the God King his first real foothold back in the world. To strengthen himself, he sent his Void Woken, the remnants of my people, to hunt down the sorcerers seeking to reclaim their source. The Void Woken. Disgusting things. They ravaged the land they touched, and infected the air they breathed. They were also an incredible stroke of luck. You see, blaming the sorcerers for Voidwoken made them easier to capture. The Aterra now contains almost all of the source the Seven stole. Soon, we will be able to heal the Vale. The Void shall be banished. And I, Lucian the Divine, shall return from the dead. A false divine, of course. I shall have no power. But the world will not know this. I shall demand peace, and we shall have it. The plan is almost complete. We have made so many sacrifices, Godwoken. All of us. Of ourselves and those we love. One last sacrifice is required. For the future of Rivalon, you must surrender your source. Decide. Be the true hero and give up your source, or be forced to submit. Like a coward. Like a slave. There is no other way. The source of the world is required to close the veil. All of the source. We only lack. Yours.
as I say, one last sacrifice is required. Yours. Good. You understand. The world shall not know this. I shall return from the grave, a divine without power, yet all who desire power shall fear me. I shall carry the secret of my lack of divinity. Peace shall reign. Alexander was God-woken. Once, years ago, I should have killed Damien, but instead took him as my son. Quite the mistake. Now, I was forced to kill Alexander, my blood. But once more, I could not. The task fell to me. And me. We already had more than enough Godwoken. Another sacrifice I was forced to make. Those beautiful people. Then let us proceed. Show some responsibility. Surrender your source. You'll be a hero. Everyone will know the sacrifice you'll make. Your name will be synonymous with the survival of Rivalon. Don't let them do this to us. But our souls? There has to be another way. No, never. I understand. Sacrifice takes courage, but I shall help you, though it pains me. Your sacrifice shall be made for you, Dallas. I'm sorry. You've come such a long way, but there is too much at stake. This is the end. <laughs> 